Friends, praise God. I'm just rejoicing. My heart is rejoicing for this opportunity that our Lord Jesus Christ gave us to serve here in Mexico, in Matamoros, in Victoria. As you see the building behind me, I am so rejoicing for the help, for the miracle of God, how everything is putting together and the building is almost done. We just had a meeting with the government office where people are willing to help us with the paperwork. And we are 50% done with the paperwork to accept kids into the orphanage. So keep us in prayer. May the Lord help us go forward and that building to be done and for kids to be saved in that building. Right now we're standing in front of the prison here in Victoria, Mexico, where God called us to come and serve at. Uh, God opened the doors when we first came in 2018 to open up a uh, uh, ministry, which is the prison ministry. At that time, it was one of the most dangerous uh, prisons in Mexico. There was a lot of violence. There was a lot of riots. There was a lot of things happening in there, including witchcraft, and a lot of bad things were happening. They needed the gospel. And what ended up happening is God called us and a few other people from the city to start going into the prison to preach the gospel. Since that time, there has been close to a thousand people, if not more, who have given their lives to Christ inside the prison. And these were people that struggled with many uh, difficult problems before, many hard sins, but Christ freed them because where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And even though these prisoners are locked up at this time in those walls, they are testifying that they have freedom in Jesus Christ. Continue to keep this prison and this ministry in your prayers so God can continue to save many more souls. God bless you. This is the garbage dump and we want to give thanks to God that He's given us numerous opportunities uh, to be able to come out here and share the gospel and to be a blessing to these people. A lot of these people are here with their even small kids, uh, age uh, 5, 7, 10 years old. They're digging through the trash just to try to make a living for themselves. They work all day in the sun and they get paid pennies uh, just to be able to survive and to make a living for themselves. That is not easy, but we're thankful to God that He has given us a heart for the poor. The Bible says that he who remembers the poor, that God will also not forget him when he is in the time of trouble. So may God help us remember the poor and be able to serve them in any way possible. First, to bring them hope, which is eternal hope in Jesus Christ. And the second part is to be able to help them out in any way. So we ask you guys to keep us, keep us in your prayers, keep the ministry in your prayers, and maybe one time you could come out here and evangelize and see what's going on out here and, uh, and be able to uh, help these people out in whatever way you can. May God bless you. And if you want to know more about this project, you can follow us on the website and can be involved and we can serve and work together for the glory of God.